Hi right, everybody, on my way to pick up a coffee and some tacos and I was like, oh, let me just record a video real quick and share the exciting news about this Andre Onana kid. Uh, his brand has been reduced by three months, so should be available for training if Arsenal buy him or any other team buys him. Um, early September, I think September 3rd, uh, he could start training and then no, and then he could start playing early November. So this is good news if, you know, anybody was looking to buy. Of course, Arsenal has been strongly linked with the player. So I would imagine this should allow them to accelerate negotiations. Um, also, Tyler Adams uh, at the right back position he also kind of d dabbles as a midfielder uh, for RB Leipzig, U.S. men's national team player as well. Good little, good little player. Um, should be a good capture for the club if they do close on him because they've been looking for somebody at right back. And this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, you know, when everybody's going crazy about Max Ahrens and all these, you know, overpriced everybody knows kind of players. Um, not that people don't know this kid, Tyler Adams, but he's not gonna cost 80 million pounds or euros like flipping Ashraf Hakimi, you know, who was a Borussia Dortmund player a couple of years ago, bought by Inter for about 40 million pounds. And now they want about 80 for him this year after a season or so, and maybe a couple of seasons there. So. I think this is really smart planning by Arsenal if they can get players of this kind. Uh, and then in midfield, I still like the, the look of Neves if Arsenal can actually close that deal. I know there's a bit of trauma after we bought William and also a bit of trauma after we've bought... Every time we've bought players from Premier League teams, we've, we haven't been great buyers from Premier League rivals. So I understand why... There may be some, you know, reservations about Neves. But Neves is actually a flipping good player. Just that he had a down season last year. But like many people did, you know. Um, I think Neves is going to be a good player again when, you know, we move away. The further we move away from the COVID phenomenon in the world and in the football world, uh, good players can't stay down for long. I mean... Those of us who are support, supporters of Arsenal, you'll know this. Like, last year, Aubameyang was shit. Uh, is he going to be shit now, again, this year and the year after? I doubt it. I doubt it. So I do think uh, Neves won't be shit. Because, you know, talent always finds a way to rise to the top again. And he's a, he's a gifted midfielder. Um, gifted enough to, to, to make us better. Um, and then... If we're gonna go for three three, he could be like the Jorginho role because we're gonna pay too much money um, for a player like Jorginho. Uh, but I, but Arsenal is looking at you know at their price level, so I think if they can get him for thirty five, that would be great. And especially if they can also get the kid from Belgium, Albert Sambi Lokonga. He was playing for. Um, Vincent Company's team supposedly recommended by Thierry Henry as well who is now back coaching with Roberto Martinez uh, at the Belgian national team so I do think uh, you know those two young kids are exactly the kind of buys the club should be looking to to make you know players between 15 and 35 million pounds I think that's the the, the kind of player they should be looking at rather than trying to flex muscles because we as fans are not happy with, you know, whatever they, whatever the media outlets release as what the club is linked with. I think they should be bold. And if they fail, they fucking fail. But at least they should be trusting themselves to do things that they've planned because they've, they've had a chance to, to look at this. It's very easy for us fans, including myself, you know, to have strong opinions on any one thing, but then when that opinion gets really wrong, proved to be wrong, 
you know, we can easily adjust our position into a new position and be like, oh yeah, I called it early. So when we're right, we're right and we, we're loud about it. But then when we're wrong, we say it in a very short blurb uh, and hide it in between a lot of excuses why we were wrong. So I really do think uh, what I'm reading and what I'm seeing about Lokonga, about this youngster, uh, Tyler Adams, uh, that sounds really smart. It also sounds smart that Arsenal are looking to do something with Eddie Nketiah's situation, try to extend him and then protect his value. Or if he doesn't want to extend, move him on. So one way or the other, it seems like they're doing things the right way, finally. Um, but only time will tell because, you know, nothing is guaranteed in the transfer market. Um, sometimes what looks like a short thing is not so much of a short thing. You know, none of us could have predicted what William did last season. I mean, some of us were concerned about the length of his contract that Arsenal was offering. But I don't remember hearing one person saying he's a terrible player. And even those of us who had some reservations, no one saw what eventually came off of that deal. So while there are no guarantees, it's probably safe then to buy Young so that if they don't work out, you can also just keep moving them on. Um, because, for example, Gwenduzi is going to most likely be moved on. We paid between five and seven million pounds for him, the club. I think Arsenal gets at least that much, worst case scenario. Um, and so when you buy young players, when they don't work out, you can always just move them on and maybe get back value that you paid or a little bit better. Uh, and if they work out, then it's even, it's even better for you. So long story long, this transfer season is off and running and lots of names being linked. Keep an eye out for some of these youngsters I was talking about. Lokonga, maybe. Uh, Adams. And um, yeah, let's see what happens with the goalkeeping situation with Onana and maybe even Leno. Hopefully Leno gets a couple of games for Germany and it, Im it improves his value. And it looks like Granit Xhaka is finally going to be gone. Um, he's one that I mixed mixed thoughts about, mixed feelings about. Um, I feel like we had the worst of Xhaka at Arsenal, and I think he's past that now. And he's going to be a good player where he goes uh, to, to to Roma. He's going to be a really good player for them. Uh, I'm not going to cry over it, but I do think 